next part of it says, tell me what's on your mind. Destruction. <laughs> hey, everybody. Can I talk to you for a second about the word destruction and how we sometimes play a role in that real quick when you're when you're bouncing things off of one another maybe it's the family that's getting together to try to figure out something to do for the day maybe it's business partners trying to strategize but when you're sitting at that round table or standing around the campfire or whatever it is you're doing and you're trying to bounce ideas off of each other of what to do oh are you like me? Sometimes you don't even allow the first person to finish because we think we know what their end in mind is. <laughs> and we end up really not getting anywhere. Oh my gosh. So, let me ask you guys something. Woo this is good. This is good. Oh, it's going to teach us how to hear better and to be heard better. So if you ask somebody, what is it that you want to do? Or what is it that you're thinking about? Pretend after you say that to put duct tape on your mouth and let them completely finish what their idea is right up to the end of mine, okay? And then you remove your duct tape, you put it on them and you share yours. I got a feeling you're gonna mastermind together and come up with a brilliant idea instead of the person or you or them starting to share their idea and right in the middle of it we cut each, we cut each other off and then we continue on with what we think is the end in mind what we picture in our mind <laughs> destruction <laughs> i don't want any destruction i want to be able to know what is it that you're thinking about and then I'll tell you what I'm thinking about. And then together, we'll have a happy solution. I hope that tip makes sense today. Because <laughs> it feels good sharing it.